Good morning, kindergarten. Mrs. Zinsky here to talk to you today about your social studies target. So today in social studies, we are going to be focusing on the target. I can identify contributions made by historical figures such as George Washington, Christopher Columbus, Andrew Jose Antonio Navarro, and Stephen F. Austin. So we have already covered Christopher Columbus, and we've already covered George Washington and why he was a great explorer and an awesome first president. So we touched already, too, on Stephen F. Austin and what he did for Texas and why he was important. And now we're going to look at another person. His name was Jose Antonio Navarro, and we're going to learn about his awesome contributions to Texas. So let's take a look. Jose Antonio Navarro by Christine Juarez. Check it out. This book has a table of contents. And it also has a real picture on the front, and it's about a specific person. So I know from that that this must be an informational text. So while you're listening, I want you to look for other text features that you might recognize in this book. Jose Antonio Navarro. Early years. Jose Antonio Navarro was an important leader in Texas. He was born on February 22nd. 1795 in San Antonio, Texas. At this time, Texas was not part of the United States. And here we have a real photograph with a caption to tell us what it is. It says that there is a statue of Jose Antonio Navarro in San Antonio. Jose's father, Angel Navarro, died in 1808. Young Jose was going to school in Mexico. He left school to help his family back home. The Spanish army took over San Antonio in 1813. Jose and his family were against Spain. They had to go to the U.S. state of Louisiana for safety. Here's an early picture of Jose Navarro. Adulthood. In 1860, Jose went back to Texas. He made money trading horses and goods. By 1821, Mexico was in charge of Texas. Jose was chosen to represent Texas in Mexico's government. Pretty crazy, but pretty cool. Jose became friends with American Stephen F. Austin. Austin had arrived in 1821. He had settled 300 American families in Texas. Jose began to think about Texas joining the United States. So that's where we get Stephen F. Austin and Jose Navarro as friends, as a white Texan and a Hispanic Texan. Pretty cool, huh? In 1836, Jose was one of three Mexicans to sign the Declaration of the Texas Declaration of Independence. It called for Texas to be free from Mexico. Check it out. The same picture is on the cover of Jose. And we also have this thing along the bottom. It's another signature text feature of informational text. It's a timeline of events of Jose Navarro. In 1845, Jose voted for Texas to become a U.S. state. He made sure the new states constitution did not leave out Tejanos. He said they should have the same rights as white Texans. Tejanos might be a word that not some of us are not familiar with. And if we look at the bottom, we have a little brief um, caption that gives a definition of the word. It says Tejano, and it says a Texan of Hispanic background. Like Jose. Pretty cool that he helped create the state of Texas. Jose served in the first Texas State Senate from 1846 to 1848. He kept working for the rights of Tejanos. Remember, Tejanos are Texans that are of Hispanic descent. Remembering Jose. Jose died on January 13, 1871. 
Today, people can visit his home in San Antonio, and they learn about the life of this Texas patriot. Here's Jose's home in San Antonio. Another picture with the caption. And look at our timeline. It's gotten so much longer. Remember, Jose Navarro contributed lots of great things to Texas. He helped fight for the rights of the Tejanos, the Hispanic-descended Texans. He helped create Texas as the 28th state of the United States and helped give us the rights we have now. Pretty crazy, pretty cool. What a great guy. Make sure you go over my activities page and check out your assignment for the day. Feel free to go back and check my reading out again. Have a good day.